always from the heart of the city. And now, on demand, 24-7, on the CHFI website. This is the soundtrack to accompany the beauty of January. And I'm Don Jackson, around the world, on the Internet. Hal Borland, in his book, Hal Borland's Twelve Moons of the Year, published in 1979 by Random House, wrote, and I quote, January is raw, bitter, icy, edged with a wind that chills the marrow and congeals the blood. Its days are short, its nights long. It is winter's very essence. But January also has intervals and aspects that etch themselves unforgettably on the memory. Unquote. Some of his memories this hour from this old but wonderful book, you will think he was writing about this January of 2010. He really has caught the essence of the winter moment in beautifully crafted words. Lovers and other strangers from iTunes and chfi.com. Eva Avila and Meant to Fly, Bruce Coburn on the coldest night of the year, and Fleetwood Mac over my head. I'm Don Jackson with Lovers and Other Strangers. As it said in a Reader's Digest condensed version of these excerpts, and I quote, The late Hal Borland, as a countryman by temperament and by residence, wrote outdoor essays for the New York Times. Unquote. These essays were extremely well received by readers. There's something about these words that seemed to capture the essence of the moment. Borland wrote, and I quote, The whine of snow underfoot on a brittle cold day the moan of night wind in a grove of hilltop hemlocks, the groan of ice on a lake or river. These are the sounds of winter. But the really shivery whine of snow is seldom heard anymore. It was at its best under the runners of a sleigh. It could rise to the pitch of a high cello note and it had a full tone that carried half a mile if the night air was right. Unquote. And I agree, it's a sound that has been replaced by other sounds that we now identify with winter, what they are shortly, with lovers and other strangers. From iTunes and chfi.com. REO Speedwagon can't fight this feeling anymore. Rob Thomas, ever the same. And Michael Murphy and Wildfire. I'm Don Jackson with lovers and other strangers from iTunes and chfi.com. Another writer spoke of the country sounds of winter and those in other seasons as well. Robert Kimber, in a canoeist's sketchbook, published by Chelsea Green, wrote, and I quote, One of the best places you can go in a canoe is the wilderness. And what you may ask is so great about it. The silence, for one thing. In real wilderness, silence is not just quiet, which is the absence of noise. It is the voice of the living earth unmuddied by oral clutter. I live in the country, which is a lot quieter than the city. But even in the country, there is a lot of noise. Cars of people commuting to work. Machines that build houses, cut down trees, paint stripes on roads, fly around in the sky, split quiet lakes in half, 
wine across the top of the snow. In the country, you experience blessed periods of quiet, and it surely is a great treasure. But in the wilderness, you are surrounded by the voices of silence and they are a greater treasure still. Unquote. But nature is anything but silent in January, as you'll see shortly with lovers and other strangers from iTunes and chfi.com. Michael Buble coming back home and the Eagles and Desperado. I'm Don Jackson with Lovers and Other Strangers. Hal Borland in his book, Hal Borland's 12 Moons of the Year, published in 1979 by Random House, wrote, and I quote, January's most ominous sound is the voice of the ice. It is thunder at times, flinty muttering occasionally. It is the creak and complaint of water turned to steel, of stresses like those that cause earthquakes. As deepening cold thickens in a pond or lake, or slow-flowing river, the ice turns milky or black. The water expands as it turns to ice and begins to press against the banks. Suddenly, the pressure is too great. There is a gigantic heave. A crack races across the ice, and the whole ice sheet booms like a giant drum. Unquote. More of the voices of January shortly with lovers and other strangers from iTunes and chfi.com. Diana Crawl, Narrow Daylight, and Nora Jones, Empty as a Drum, and Don't Know Why. I'm Don Jackson with lovers and other strangers. Hal Borland in his book, Hal Borland's Twelve Moons of the Year, published in 1979 by Random House, wrote, and I quote, The wind comes and goes. The sound of the trees eases to sighs and whispers. The sleet ends and the snow is a drifted blanket. But the ice which carved the valleys and leveled the hills must proclaim its strength. The ice rends itself in a primal convulsion. Unquote. More of the sounds of January with lovers and other strangers from iTunes and chfi.com. Jerry Baker, or Jerry Rafferty on Baker Street, in the cold city, and Vanessa Williams with the colors of the wind, and I'm Don Jackson. One final thought on a northern January from an incredible book published many, many moons ago, Hal Borland's 12 Moons of the Year, published in 1979 by Random House. He wrote, and again I quote, Winter's moon is queen of the sky. It hurries the sun to bed, banishes all but the brightest stars, and blazons the frosty night a full 14 hours in remote and solitary grandeur, glittering the hills and frozen valleys. 
It may dance a stately pavan on the frost-flowered surface of a silent lake. It may etch whimsical hieroglyphics on the snow beneath the naked trees. The winter's moon makes magic of the night, but it is a sharp and frosty witchcraft. The fox knows it, and so does the hurrying hare darting from shadow to shadow. The night walker sees it in his spangled breath, senses it in his whistling footsteps. The late homecomer observes it in the shimmer of his rooftop, smells it in the slow curl of smoke from his chimney. Midwinter moonlight is no hearth glow reflected in the sky. It is the cold beauty of a whole winter wrapped and rhymed into one long January night. Unquote. Hal Borland's Twelve Moons of the Year, published in 1979 by Random House. It really is a remarkable account of a winter moment frozen between the covers of a book you can curl up with beside a blazing hearth and share with lovers and other strangers from iTunes and CHFI.com. I hope you will tell all your friends about lovers and other strangers. Good night. Sweet dreams. I'm Don Jackson.